Noob Noob, I heard you said the Dracula sucks. I want to suck your blood, baby. Oh, my God. We're talking about the last voyage, voyage. of the Demeter. Er. No, no, you had a super crazy quest for me. You wanted me to explain to your childlike mind what exactly is the last voyage of the Demeter. Yes. See, the thing, the problem is that when you the movie, know the thing. When the movie starts, it kind of gives you a little like scripts about what it is. And you can't. And I was read. reading it, and then a text came in, and I looked down, and then it was over. I'm like, fuck, I missed it. So now I don't know what it's about. Dracula and people. A bunch of Draculas. Yeah, and there's a boat. Dracula's on and a boat. And it's in Romania. Why was he in Romania? Questions I have. Mm, was it though? Pretty sure it's not. No, it's Romania. That, oh, at least in this it's Romania. Mm-hmm. The Right? Nope. In the I don't know. In the movie that I didn't see, I don't know where in it is. In this movie, he is in the le- movie like, that I did he's not commissioned. See. The, the Demeter is leaving Romania for London. Gotcha. Is Romania a landlocked island? Is, is it? Is there? Is it attached to any sort of seas that I'm aware of? Well, I don't know. Where is Romania? Oh, well, maybe we should look that up before you start spouting off facts. It is in the Balkans. I guess there is there a go. portion yeah. of it. Then on somewhere... Is attached to some sort of sea, the Black Sea. Yep. How would that Black Sea get to London? Uh, scroll out. You can go through the Black Sea. Uh huh. Well, hold on now. <laughs> well, hold up there. Uh. All right, just to show the folks what we're talking about here. Yeah. How about how? Hold on a second here. Are you a little confused? There's Romania. In fact, should we even go closer to see Transylvania? Wouldn't it be easier just to go across Transylvania? And go right to, like, the heart of it all. This is, is Romania. in Romania? I believe so. I can't tell you for sure, but I'm going to guess. So but That's a yes. That's weird. So we'll go trans. Transylvania is not a real place, is it? Like Pennsylvania? Transyl. Yeah, Transylvania. Same. Transylvania, Romania. It's a place. Oh. It's not telling me exactly where it is. I think but there's it's just here a castle. Somewhere. No, there's an, it's, it's a region in central Romania known for its medieval towns. And it's most famous castle, the Braun Castle. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, because it's Bram Stoker? No, Bram Stoker was Irish. Shit. He was an Irish writer from Dublin. Who made Dracula? Yes. He's Why from did the he Dublin. Romania? Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. People aren't real sure. First of all, you're talking about the movie, not the book. You wanted me to explain to you what the book was about, not the movie. Yeah, that I didn't well, see. I thought the movie was the book. It is not. I mean, first of all, it was. It's about 20 years in the making to make this movie. Probably pinning off the back of Bram Stoker's Dracula back in the 90s. That was pretty popular. That did pretty well, I think. Is with Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Keanu Reeves, that you did not see. Nope. But here's Dublin, Ireland. How do you go? Okay, well, first of all, you're trying to get to London from Transylvania, somewhere in, you know, in here. I guess you could go through the Black Sea, through Istanbul, around your hometown of Sicily. Yep. Sicily. Do love the Sicils. Oh, I don't even know what I... What's that? Corsica and whatever. Through the Straits of Gibraltar. Up and about. Around whatever you this country... You think these medieval shipsmen were able to do that? Absolutely 100%. Not. Yeah, why? What do you think? They just picked up the boat and walked it through? How, how the hell are they <laughs> able to navigate through that terrain? What do you terrain? mean? They don't... <laughs> uh-huh. How do you know where they're going? What do you mean? <laughs> How do they know? Why didn't they just take this road through Budapest? Yeah. Go to Prague and Germany and the Netherlands and then just swim across? I thought you just let the sea take you. It's in God's hands. <laughs> gotcha. That's a, you yeah. just wash up somewhere, some, <laughs> somewhere, somehow. You just put the sails up and you're like, all right, we're going to go to the place. So yeah. I, just, I wanted to show you what this is based off of. It is funny because it's called The Last Voyage of the Demeter, also known as Dracula Voyage of the Demeter. 
probably would have done better in the Americas if you called it Dracula Voyage of the Demeter. I don't know if it would have done much better. But People don't even know that it's Dracula. They just know there's a monster on a boat. Yep. You think they knew that was Dracula? I mean, the trailer says Do they explicitly Dracula. say Dracula? Yes, they you do. you sure about that? They do. Well, I'd like to show you Bram Stoker, his Dracula, and just so you're aware, you probably don't know this, um, but his, Dracula is, a, is it an epistological story. So Does that mean Jesus? A, <laughs> epistolary novel. Apostles, epistological? No. Sounds similar. They're, it's, it's, it's drawn on letters between people. So the entire narrative is constructed out of letters. So letters back and forth between people. Okay. So your movie was just this one part of chapter seven, the <laughs> log of the Demeter. It goes from this part to that part. Oh my God. And that's, that's two it. hours. That's two hours of a movie. <laughs> they literally took this Shit. much of Bram Stoker's Dracula and said, you're going to make a movie out of this. So whatever questions you have, I will answer to the best of my ability. Apparently there were only, uh, five hands, two mates, seven, eight, a cook and himself, a captain nine. There was nine people on this boat. Yeah, there was people. I didn't pay attention to the count. You didn't count chocolate no. with them? All I know is that these people were dumb because they're loading ships on there, and I guess they have dragon loading tattoos ships. on them. So it's the box of the dragon tattoo, and then a the bunch box of, of the dragon tattoo. A bunch of Romanians are like, oh, the dragons, the devil's curse. You shouldn't Who do that. Who has the dragon tattoo? The the boxes. The boxes have a tattoo. And then the people delivering them were like, oh, I don't, I don't want any parts of this shit. Fuck you. Uh-huh. Like, everyone's warning them, like, don't take don't this take shit. Don't take these boxes. And they're like, yeah, we need some strong black men for the ship. <laughs> Maybe doctors. Maybe. There's no doctor on this boat, but sure. No, there's a strong black doctor. It, th th okay. Yeah. I'm going to say when they say Turkish customs that you, we may be correct when we said that they went through Istanbul. Look at that. How did they navigate accurate. that? What, what do you mean? People have been sailing boats for thousands of years. Yeah, but how do you sail it that accurately? You follow the coastline, probably? No, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound like a thing. Yeah. It's Istanbul, not Constantinople. I like Constantinople. So w ask your questions there, Chief. I've forgotten them all. Um, What questions do I have? Is the name of the boat the same thing? Yes, it is. It is the Demeter. Yes, it is. Yep. Uh, th th that's the, the main thing is that Dracula is on board. Does Spoilers. He does he obviously? Does he commission his own transport? Like I don't understand. Yes, because he wants to go. Why to does London. he want to leave? I I feel like I might have missed that in the story. I think they might have done a brief, uh, a brief sentence where like, oh, he ran out of people to eat or something. Like, why would he leave Romania? Like, I don't understand. Uh, my, I suspect he wanted revenge on his lawyer, what? Jonathan, who's like. The pseudo, there is no main protagonist of this, but j it starts off when his attorney comes to visit him, his London based attorney. So he's like, I'm going like to in London Renfield and get a bite to eat. Like in Renfield. Is Renfield his attorney? Yeah. Renfield's not his attorney. Renfield is a crazy man that he meets. No, Renfield was his attorney. Uh, yet Jonathan is his attorney. Jonathan Keanu Renfield. Reeves is his attorney. His name is not Jonathan Renfield. Oh, really? No, his last name is Jonathan. Oh, well, they changed Renfield then. D yeah, you don't you don't say. Oh no, his name is Jonathan Harker. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the main ish protagonist. So he's definitely not on here. No. So he commissions. So he does it himself. He commissions. The only the boat. way that he can he can live in London is if he brings soil from his homeland. Yep, there is bunches of soil, soil, coffins and then, filled with soil. And then you said that there wouldn't be allowed any women on board. No, why would there be and, women uh, on puts, a sailing ship? He puts a woman on a box to feed on her during the transport. Ah, uh, okay, that's a liberty taken. I mean, it's it's not told in the log, so sure. And also, why would he like? Is he supposed to be dormant during this voyage, or was he planning on murdering everybody? 
Because if he murdered them too soon, he'd be just in C forever dying. Unclear. Yeah. I mean, in the book, it's unclear. He just starts... Like, a lot of it doesn't make a lot of sense. And this Dracula, it's weird. Like, I don't... Is Dracula's... Is there any version of Dracula where he's just a human? Sure. Like, like no, no, like, from the beginning. Or he needs to, like, feed to become human. No, he's human when Jonathan Harker meets him in, in uh, Transylvania. Yeah, like... The but he's an old man. The only thing that happens in this is it seems like he needs to... F he's weakened. Yeah, he's And if they would have killed him in the beginning, then sure, it would have been easy. But the more he feeds, the stronger he gets. Yeah, maybe. But it's he not goes, clear. He goes right to, like, feeding to having... Like, he's like a full bat in this. Okay, fair enough. Like, I thought... Yeah, like, it was weird. Like, it didn't seem like it followed a progression of Dracula-isms... Like, he just went from, like, weird ghoul that shouldn't be that powerful to flying around. And then if he could fly around, why didn't he just stay on the boat? Why didn't he just fly to London? A good point. I don't know. understand. Yeah. Uh, there is a part in the art in this chapter here where he says that, I think it's his first mate, the captain's first mate, attempted to stab Dracula. He saw, they kept seeing a character yep. on the boat. And they're like, there's, an, there's, there's nine of us. There's another person on the boat. Yep, that it's happens. not supposed to be there. Yep. Well, when he goes and he tries to stab him, he he, he disappears into thin air. Nope, that doesn't happen. Yeah, so he tries to stab him and, and nothing happens. What yeah. I'm really curious is about is about the ending, per se. Although there is a part, well, I just suspect it doesn't go at all. It doesn't follow the book. Well, is there any survivors in the original book? There are zero survivors. Yeah, there's a survivor in this. So the captain, at the end of the book, the captain is tied to the ship's um, mast, or yep. like the, the steering wheel, mm -hmm. dead. That with, happens. With a log in, the in his like pocket. No. And uh, that's how they read the log. That's how they find out what, what happened. Do they, do they express wh how, like what happens to Dracula? He just, he gets to London. They try to sink How? the ship. Basically, Ooh, like towards okay. the end, everyone is going to be dead except for maybe three people. The girl, the black doctor, the black captain, doctor. and that's basically it. Mm -hmm. And Dracula just murders everybody. Mm -hmm. And they are like, we're going to sink the ship so he's stranded at sea, although he can fly. So that immediately There gets are other interpretations of this that say that, but yes, go ahead. That he can fly, yeah. No, so no, no, that th they were going to sink the Demeter. Yeah, that makes sense that you wouldn't sink him, but once you learn he can fly, I don't know why sinking would do anything to him. He doesn't fly in this, but sure, in the book. Oh, okay, yeah. In no, the book, he, he does not fly. He flies around like a fucking majestic no, eagle. in fact, he, he, he does transform, though, in the book. Yeah. So they go to sink the ship. He starts murdering everybody, mm -hmm. and then the girl and the black doctor jump off board. Okay. And uh, they find out that the black girl, or not the black, the black doctor's fine, and the girl was bitten, so she's turning into like whatever Dracula, a bride of Dracula, burning sure. into the sun. People that happens, like you get Vampire. infected, I guess. Sure. So she dies, uh -huh. and uh, the black doctor washes up to shore, and he's like, "I'm gonna search for Dracula and kill him," and that's it. That's how it ends. It ends with like him, him seeing Dracula in a bar. Oh, okay. And then searching for him, saying, "I'm gonna, f I'm gonna kill him." So kind of a difference there when they um he knows he doesn't know that there's dracula or even a vampire on board the captain that is he's the last one alive towards the end he doesn't realize that uh he knows something is on board because his first mate goes down to go kill dracula and he comes back up and he's basically insane and says something's in the hold and he decides to jump overboard um from for an, I recall, yeah, he just jumps overboard, which you would die. That's not like you can't live if you just jump overboard. No, not in the ocean. No, not in the ocean. And then they just find him tied up. But the difference is when they when the boat sails into shore, there's a, a large dog. And the dog jumps on on shore. And everybody's like, why is there this big dog here? And then they find other dogs that are dead. What? He turned into a dog. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Remember no. you asked me if he could turn into other things? So he doesn't turn into a bat. No, he, he turns, turns into, into a, a dog. dog. 
Yes. Interesting. Yeah. No, there's a dog on board. Mm-hmm. He murders that one real no. quick. Oh, okay. He should have turned into the dog. Yeah. And then eaten the other dog. Dog biscuits. The only thing I don't get is like, why would people in, I don't know what time frame this was, 1800s? 1890s, I guess. I don't know why everyone in this ship would be real dumb because their entire livestock gets murdered overnight. And then they're like, oh, all their necks are ripped out. Nope, might have been rabies, I guess. Just I guess we'll just crazy dump. rabies. Yep, rabies happen magically it's to explodes everything. explodes their throats out. They're in cages, but rabies, and mm-hmm. everyone ate their own throats. Let's throw them overboard. Like, there was a lot of the first 30, 35 minutes, like, mm, people just keep disappearing and getting murdered, and animals die. Like, yeah, it's fine. Let's keep keep it moving. And then halfway through, like, you know what? Maybe someone's killing us. It's like kind of dumb. Like there was a lot of uh, what's the the buffering? No. What's the thing where you waste time in a movie? Vamping. Yeah, there's a lot of vamping. Vampiring. Vamping. There's a lot of vamping because, again, it's a what a four fucking paragraph passage yes. turned into two hours. Correct. So it, like it wasn't bad. It was just very drawn out. It's very strange that you would take this one little chapter and turn it into this whole thing. In fact, I think uh, Love, Death, and Robots did a better job of this. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, with the, with the weird crab, crab thing. things? Yes. Was that the Demeter? It's inspired by it, for sure. Oh. If you think about the Demeter, that is, yeah, it's, true. it's pretty close, right? Yeah. So you have to transport something very deadly, and you make a decision, right? Whatever. That one was a little different in the ending, but yes. Didn't everybody die? No. No, but they did sink the ship. Yeah, that kind of is the Demeter. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely influenced. It's all public domain. Crabula. So. Crabula. Yes. I w- think I would have preferred Crabula. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was a good movie. I, I enjoyed it, but it was, it was just It's slow. just strange to adapt something. Like, make something so slow that's literally... It's not even, like... I guess for a movie that I knew the ending... That Dracula I, was alive? Yeah, Dracula definitely wasn't dying in this. No. I The only thing I was questioning was like, maybe they keep somebody alive, and they did. But other than that, I, I was kind of engaged. Just they it, even got close to getting to London. They were in the English Channel. No, they were, they were. You could see London before they crashed their ship. Okay. Yeah. And also, I didn't know Dracula can create fog. Like, he had a whole bunch of weird powers at the end. It, it didn't make a lot of sense. He is power. They don't mention any of those in this, but sure. Yeah. So I just thought it was interesting uh, to go back and, and see how different it is. It was written in the 1890s. It was his seventh novel, Brown Stoker's seventh novel. Some people, it's unclear who the inspiration for it was, whether Vlad the Impaler was the inspiration, although it seems kind of dumb for people to say it's not, if he came from a castle in uh, Romania, right? Isn't that where Vlad the Impaler came from? Correct. Yes. So that's where I'm a little confused. Apparently, uh, he goes into the Carpathian Mountains is where he goes to visit him. It's not specifically Transylvania, I guess. I don't know where all... It's very confusing where all of that came from, but... Because other people were saying that there, there's Irish folklore about a vampire that's like a dwarf vampire, Avarach. What? I, you know, because they're like, well, we can't prove that it came from Vlad the Impaler. And maybe it was from, uh, who is that woman? Elizabeth Balthry, the one who's like supposedly killing virgins and bathing in her blood. All right, then. Yes, she was hot. It was hot. Sure. So. I think people take put a lot into this. It's one of the early horror gothic novels before that was like a thing. It was published in 1897. It's good. It's a good book. Decent movie. I mean, see it, read the book, read the passage, whatever you want to do. You can read the passage. I promise you, it's very short. And you'll be like, they made a movie out of this? That seems a little strange. I promise you. It's a good book. It's written well. You'll enjoy it. Anyway, if you want more of Z explaining things to Dum Dum Below, you can catch more of them up here. I explain several movies so that you can understand or we can have a dialogue about it. I would love to hear what you think. Were you excited about this? Did you think, did, did, were you expecting Dracula at the end? I don't know if you were. 
I didn't see it, but he did. He was expecting Dracula, so it's, it's pretty predictable. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. Catch our full-length audio podcast. It's right here if you want to catch the live stream or listen to it on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify. Either way, I've had my fill of blood for the night. We're on to the next one. Blue. Ah.